Hey everyone, Dave Erickson here and with me, oh my goodness, a 2016 BMW 4 Series in this gorgeous black sapphire exterior color. This comes in five models, three trim levels. We have the 435i xDrive Coupe, which includes the M Sport package. When I'm done with my overview, I'm guessing you're going to reach for the phone to schedule a test drive. <laughs> The 4 Series is BMW's replacement for the 3 Series Coupe as of the 2014 model year. There are two trim levels, 428i and 435i. Rear-wheel drive is standard and all-wheel drive, called xDrive, is available on the Coupe. One of the cutting-edge aerodynamic features in the 4 Series is the air curtain cutouts in the front fender and air breathers behind that front fender. You may also notice it's one inch longer than the outgoing 3 Series Coupe, but two inches longer in the wheelbase, 1.8 inches have been increased in the front track, 3.1 inches in the rear, furthering a promising and more dynamic sporty ride. Now under the hood, powering the 428i is a turbocharged, 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that gets 240 horses, 255 pound-feet of torque, 0-60 to 60 times, 5.6 seconds. For the 435i, we have a turbocharged 3-liter inline 6, 300 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60, 4.7 seconds. An 8-speed automatic transmission is standard and a 6-speed manual is available on the rear drive coupes. And all 4 Series feature an automatic engine stop-start function that turns off the engine when the car stops in order to save fuel. Speaking of fuel economy, you're looking at up to 23 miles per gallon in the city and 35 on the highway. Now normally I might be suspicious of backseat legroom and headroom in a coupe for a guy my size, but not in the case of the 4 Series. I'm 5'11", this was my position as a driver up front, and I still got plenty of room between my knees and the back of the seat. Very impressive. A headroom, not so much the case. I think if you're 6'2", that might be the limit. There is a bit of an indent here in the roof line. That helps out a little bit. If I sit up high, it's going to be a little bit on the tight side. Not a big deal. Also, there's some netting behind the driver's seat for maybe a tablet, iPad, phone, magazines, that kind of thing. And you can fold this down here, this armrest. Press the button. Opens up two cup holders, so you have that available to you. Fold this back down. Gorgeous leather interior. Even another container right here for maybe a phone keys, whatever you want to do, and there's some speakers along the side. This is going to be a fun place to be if you don't happen to be driving or in the passenger seat. Normally you have three ways to open the trunk lid of the BMW. Now you have four. How appropriate. Four series, four ways to open it. There's a push button just left of the steering wheel above where you pop the hood. There's a button here on the key fob. Press and hold that. There's also one here just below the BMW icon to the left of the backup camera. Soft pad, press that. Well, now you have a hands-free trunk opening. So with the key fob on you, stand behind the back bumper. A quick kick underneath the bumper, and up it comes. That's our fourth way to open the trunk lid. Now back here, you're looking at 15.7 cubic feet of volume of targo space. You can increase that because we have a 40, 20, 40 fold down back seat and you just pull these levers here and fold that down to increase your cargo volume for longer items. And just below the floorboard, there's even more space for some other items. There you go, that's your cargo space. Now, even if you spend the least on a base BMW 428i, you'll get an excellent driving vehicle with power front seats, eight-speed automatic, a six-speed manual transmission is a no-cost option on the coupe, Xenon adaptive headlights, a moonroof, dynamic cruise control, an automatic climate control, infotainment includes a nine-speaker AM, FM, CD, HD radio system with USB audio input, Bluetooth streaming, and a 6.5-inch display. Higher-end 435i models include a more powerful six-cylinder engine and 18-inch wheels. The 2016 M4 features performance-oriented brakes and differential, while the Grand Coupe adds a handy power tailgate. And all that is the standard equipment on a 4 Series. Now our tester has a number of packages on it, including the cold weather package, which includes heated steering wheel, heated front seats, retractable headlight washers, a driver assistance package, which means rear view camera, 
Park Distance Control, a Driver Assistance Plus package, Active Blind Spot Detection, Active Driving Assistant, Side and Top View Cameras. There's also an M Sport package. I'm telling you, this is loaded. 19-inch alloy wheel M Sport Performance tires, adaptive M suspension, sport seats, aluminum trim with black accents. It goes on and on. The technology package, which is interesting, navigation system, heads-up display while you're driving, BMW online and BMW apps in this iDrive system here. And four driving modes, Sport Plus for sports-oriented settings. There's also a Sport. This is a sports-oriented drivetrain and chassis setting option as well. Then you have Comfort, which naturally means a comfortable driving experience, and Eco Pro for an efficiency-oriented setting driving experience. So the starting MSRP on a 2016 BMW 4 Series is in the low 40s. Our tester here, the 435i xDrive Coupe, starts around 50, but we also have the cold weather package, driver assistance, driver assistance plus, M Sport package, lighting and technology. This baby is loaded at 73.5. It is definitely worth a look and absolutely a test drive. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. Adios.